Hello once again class and welcome to another mock lecture. Today we're going to be talking about arc length and we're going to start off with, of course, the definition. Arc length is the length of an arc. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, well, let's actually go through the definition here. The formula is made up of three different variables. The arc length s intercepted on a circle of radius r by a central angle of theta radians is given by s is equal to r times theta. So a couple of takeaways here. One, theta has to be in terms of radians, and s is the name that we give, the variable name that we give for arc length. The cool thing is you can actually derive this formula based on the percent equation, or the way that I did it here is using proportions. So I said s is to the circumference, right? The arc length is to the circumference as theta is to 2 pi. So I set these two things equal to each other, right? Their percentages should come out the same when you, do the, when you actually do the division. Well, circumference is 2 pi r. So to isolate s, I multiplied both sides by 2 pi r and, and similarities canceled. On the left, the whole denominator canceled. So we just got left with s. And on the right, uh, the 2 pi canceled, so we were left with theta times r, which is the same as r times theta since multiplication is commutative. Okay, so here's a very basic example, and all I did is I kept the same picture and just replaced it with the information that I've given in this little sentence here. But it says, what is the length of the arc on a circle with a radius of 8 inches intercepted by a central angle of 40 degrees? Well, remember that theta has to be in terms of radians. Okay, so even though we're given everything that we need, we have to convert this 40 degrees into radians to start off with. Okay, and the only room I had to do that was in the upper right hand corner here. But we know the conversion, right, to turn degrees into radians, you multiply by the ratio pi over 180. Doing so gives us 2 pi over 9, and so that is going to be what we plug in for theta. 8 uh, is what we're plugging in for the radius because it's given to be 8 inches. So we do this multiplication, we get 16 pi over 9 inches. Now, with most things, right, in, in applied mathematics like this, context matters. And maybe you're building like a model house or something like that, like a little um, you know, one-tenth scale of something. Um, and, and you're asking your buddy, you're like, well, hey, how much, how much you know, wood do we need? How many toothpicks? What's the length of this toothpick fence that we need? This is a really weird example that I'm using, but it's what came to mind first. Um, and you say, oh, we need 16 pi over 9 inches, right? You're going to be like, what? What? What is that? I don't know what that is. So in this particular case, like anytime you're, you're talking about a distance, I typically will round that decimal. I'll actually find what the decimal is. And now I, I know that I need about 5.59 inches from doing that division. Now, sometimes you're going to be asked to keep answers exact. And in that case, you would go with 16 pi over 9. Um, but in this particular case, since we're talking about a distance, I might very well just convert that into a decimal and round to whatever the nearest two sig figs, three sig figs, whatever the problem asks for. The main thing is don't forget your units of measure, right? This is inches, so we have to make sure that we put that on there. All right, but here's a more maybe useful example. Um, here's a, mo a more complete example, maybe. Nebudo, Japan and Cairns, Australia, have nearly the same longitude. Their, their seconds are off by like 10 seconds, but it's pretty close. The latitude of Nemuro is 43 degrees, 19 minutes, 25 seconds north of the equator, while the latitude of Cairns is 16 degrees, 55 minutes, 32 seconds south of the equator. If the average radius of the Earth is 3,955 miles, which it's not, but it's pretty close, Approximate the distance between these two cities. Okay, so first and foremost, I think what we need to do is visualize what the heck this thing is asking us to do. So here's the Earth, right? And I, I try to draw on there uh, Nemuro, Japan, and Cairns, Australia, or about, you know, like this, right? Not to scale, obviously. We're trying to find this distance, the one that I've kind of put as a dotted line. And what I did is I traced one of the longitudinal lines um, of the globe, so that we could look at this thing, right? And, and it's a curved, right? The Earth is mostly spherical. So we're looking for an arc length, right? It's got a, it's got a central angle that we're going to have to figure out based on the latitudes that are given here. 
Now to make this a little bit easier to see, I thought what we could do is just cut the earth along this specific longitudinal uh, circle and then rotate this thing so we have a better picture of what's going on. Okay, so I drew the equator. We've got Nemedo at the top. We've got Cairns at the bottom here. Nemedo uh, has a um, latitude measurement of 43 degrees, 19 minutes, 25 seconds. So that's what this angle is. Um, the latitude of Cairns, now this is south of the equator. So it's technically a negative angle if you're going to write these things in standard position. But it's 16 degrees, 55 minutes, 32 degrees in a clockwise rotation away from the equator, right? Because it's south of the equator. So if we want to find the central angle right between these two cities along the great circle here, right, that, I, that I've uh, kind of cut the earth along, um, then we're actually adding these two degrees. Sometimes, you know, you're going to get examples where, you know, both the cities that you're looking at are above the equator, right? They're north of the equator. So then you're actually doing subtraction, right? You've got to take this angle, subtract away this angle, and that's going to give us this particular central angle. And then we can use the arc length formula to find the distance between the two cities. But here, since one of them's north of the equator, one of them's south, we actually need to add, right, the two uh, degree measurements, the two DMS notations together um, to figure out this central angle. When you're adding DMS notations, just, just remember that when you get to 60, you just add one to the column to the left, right? So if we get 60 seconds or 65 seconds, then I'll put a one kind of up here in the minutes column, and then I'll put five, you know, if, if I get 65. Obviously, we don't in this case. 25 and 32 is 57, so we get 57 seconds. But we do get something that exceeds 60 in the minutes column, okay? We actually get 74 minutes, right? 55 and 19 is 74. I subtracted 60 away from that and turned that into one degree. 74 minus 60 is 14, so we get 14 minutes. And then 43 degrees plus 16 degrees plus that carried over one degree is 60 degrees. Now remember though, this is in DMS, right? We need to get our central angle in something that's in terms of radians. So to convert DMS into radians, we have to do two things. We first have to turn it into decimal notation. Right, so that's what this is. I just divided 57 by 60 to get a decimal, added that to 14, and then divided that whole thing by 60. And so I got the decimal, that's approximately 0.249. And then we gotta turn that thing into radians. So then you have to multiply by pi over 180. And I just kind of rounded to the nearest fourth significant figure here. We got 1.0515 radians is the central angle between these two cities. So finally, we have everything that we need to find S. We've got a radius, 3,955 miles, and we're trying to find this arc length. So we have R times theta. R is 3,955. Theta, the, the central angle here that we found in radians was 1.0515. So we multiply those things together to get about the distance on the surface of the Earth between Nemuro and Cairns is 4,159 miles. I think I rounded up. I think it was like 4,158.7 some stuff miles. All right. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Very quick two examples on arc length. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.